Hello, Reading community. We hope that you had a great week. This week, we'd like to share an update around an exciting event in the community this weekend, and also dive into several shout outs to students at RMHS, a student at Coolidge, and also some students at Birch. So dive in first, uh, Discover the Arts Day Cultural Festival and Task Party is tomorrow. So here you see the flyer. We'd like to remind you about some free family fun this weekend, uh, which is from 10 to 2 p.m. tomorrow. It is Discover the Arts Day Cultural Festival and Community Task Party is located in the town commons. Come learn about local fine arts opportunities and enjoy activities for all ages, including face painting, balloon animals, live music, and Reading's first ever community task party, which is hosted by some of our very own RPS staff members. The rain date is on Sunday from 1 to 5. We hope to see you down there. Now, shifting into some shout outs, I'd like to start with a shout out to an RMHS senior. This goes to Jada Hayes. Uh, so Jada Hayes was recently named as a 2022-2023 scholar through the College Board's um, National African American Recognition Program. Uh, this prestigious academic honor is awarded to students who scored the top 10% in the state on PSAT scores and then also received a, a, a three or better on at least two or more AP exams. So a huge congratulations to Jada on this prestigious recognition. Shifting gears into a shout out uh, in the pool. This goes to a couple of our RMHS swimmers. So you'll see here a uh, picture of the article in the Boston Globe. So this is an article that highlights some of the positive culture on our RMHS swim team, and particularly in helping some of our middle school students navigate the transition adjustment to high school athletics. So you see here this article gives a special spotlight to RMHS senior Anna Bomer and also to a Coolidge eighth grader, uh, Layla Paulson. So great leadership here by our student athletes and a great article for that community to read. And then to close, we'd like to share some highlights uh, from the different engaging learning opportunities happening at Birch Meadow. So these come from Birch Meadow Principal Dr. Burnham. First here, you'll see some pictures from uh, Ms. Mucha's fourth grade classroom where students were able to hear from Golden State Warrior star Steph Curry as they participate in a virtual event where NBA superstar read his new book, I Have a Superpower, and talked with the students about overcoming uh, obstacles with positive thinking and determination. Shifting gears into Ms. Beckman's class. So Ms. Beckman's fourth grade students had a visit from our Reading Town manager, Mr. Maltez. Mr. Maltez read his daughter's favorite story, Island Board, and then answered many, many questions. Uh, also from Ms. Beckman's class, students celebrated Hispanic Heritage Month by creating Amate paintings. Amate paintings are a form of folk art from Mexico. And then lastly, we're going to shift into Birch about uh, the fifth graders enjoy the first enrichment program of the year here. You'll see some photos. Uh, our presenter was from Wingmasters, an organization that is licensed to rehabilitate injured raptors here in Massachusetts. Wingmasters continues to care for those birds that can't be released back into the wild and uses them for educational programming. The students met several native birds of prey in their care, including a hawk, a falcon, and some owls. The students got to learn a lot about the birds' various adaptations, including their hunting adaptations and their adaptations to our weather. So it's some really fun and engaging hands-on learning opportunities happening at Birch. So shout out to all those students and staff involved. We hope that you have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you next week. Go Rockets.